Hey everyone, my name is Kai and welcome to my channel. Ah, we are on the last, uh, possibly the last chapter of the quarry. Um, a lot of people died in the previous one. <laughs> I accidentally killed Laura and also Ryan. It was a mistake on my end. I took too long to decide on whether or not to shoot um, the werewolf in front of me. I thought it was Laura, but instead it was Chris. So yeah, that was my bad. I could just restart the game, but I feel like nah, it's fine. This is my first playthrough, so mistakes were made. Uh, I've learned my lesson. Um, Jacob died as well. <laughs> Apparently it was a fatal decision uh, by leaving him in that cage, you know, when we decided on whether or not to leave Jacob or let Jacob out from the cage in the basement. So yeah, Jacob's dead. I really don't mind. Anyways, yeah, Travis is dead. Bobby's dead. The dad is dead as well. So now only left four uh, counselors, which is Abby, Emma, Dylan and uh, Caitlin. Basically these four are my favorite characters so yeah I'm gonna try my best not to let them die <laughs> but I feel this is gonna be one of the most intense chapter ever. Uh, so yeah let's do this. Let's uh, let's finish off the quarry. <clears throat> Help me. Okay. Okay. Well, can't get much worse than it already is, right? Great. You just jinxed it, dude. <laughs> Cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, they don't like water. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, oh, or maybe right, well, use like a boat or something. You just stay Night's in the water. Over. These fuckers know we're in here. And they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point. But how did they, how did they, uh, know where you are though? Okay. Where can I go? Oh, God. Oh, you're going up? Should we explore this place first? See if I can find anything? Um. I'm really nervous though because the, the last four characters are the ones that I really do like. I'm not saying that I don't like Laura, but she ended up dying. Uh, so, <laughs> with my big mistake. So, I, I feel a little bit pressured to, uh, to keep these four characters alive. So, fingers crossed that I uh, managed to do so. There's anything here though. Ah, where am I going? Oh, yeah, go up. Okay, great. Ah, uh, no, oh, Abby is here, isn't she? Um, I think Emma is still under the um, is still in the basement in the in the storm shelter. But Abby managed to go to the office, so. Maybe we can find her. But I don't know where she is though. Which way is to the office? Okay. Seems like there's nothing down here. Maybe it's time for us to go up. Can I go up from here? Oh, I can't. It's blocked. Excuse me, Dylan, baby. Maybe I need to go up from that, uh, from the staircase, though. So. Okay. Oh, Dylan, you're blocking my, my way, dude. Okay. 
he wants to go there. I feel like I should explore more, though. Who is that? Oh, I'm guessing that's uh, Constance and... What's his name? Jedediah? A dog tag? Nice to put a name to a big name face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Oh. Who? Who's is it? Uh, the big dude from earlier. When you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother? Oh, that's I Bobby's? Guess. Right, right. Ah. Uh, should keep it though. As a as an evidence as an evidence? See, really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Camp letter. Oh. I have so much updates though. Um, Chris Hackett is asking campers' parents for additional donations to help with the lodge renovations cost. Um, isn't that what camp fees are for? Where else would that money be going? Okay. There's the lodge renovation plans. The fact that Chris Hackett is asking campers' parents for a donation means that these repairs may be more crucial than they first thought. Okay. Planting notice. No wonder the deer population has decreased. It looks like most of them have ended up on the wall in the Hackett house. Right. The Hackett family is basically a trophy hunter. Or a... a well, they are hunters, so... Bloody collared. Chris Hackett killed the camp mascot on the night Laura and Max were kidnapped. When hiding in the storm shelter, he devoured Ian in an attempt to set satiate his appetite. It didn't work. Uh oh? We got a camp mascot? Ian. Wait, when did that... When did that mention, though? I didn't even know that we have a camp mascot. Oh, so Ian is, is the camp mascot. And, uh, he was killed by Chris? Scrap your note. The note is referring to Max's car. Travis wanted to keep it off the books in case anyone came looking for them. Right, the SUV. Oh, so the, um, the car that we destroyed at the scrapyard, that was Max's car. I see. I think so, yeah. I didn't catch that, though. I missed this, too. Uh, what else? That's it. Can I read it though? I'm playing this at uh, 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> Your parents and guardians, when my mother and father founded Kakut's Quarry Summer Camp in 1953, their vision was to create a space where children from across the nation could experience the true wonders of nature, and I'm proud to continue their legacy to this day. The camp's lodge has stood proud since we first opened our gates. This legacy, and indeed the lodge itself, is now at risk. Having sought advice from a structural engineer, it appears crucial repair works is required on the masonry of the chimney column. Okay. Don't worry, your children are not in danger, but I must inform you that as of next year, we will, we will be increasing camp fees by 5% per attendee. When times get tough, I am reminded of our camp motto, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. With this in mind, I hope that together we can make Hackers Quarry stronger than ever. Thank you for your continued patronage, yours and yours with gratitude, Chris Hackett. Yes. Yeah, so he needs to, uh, to fix the lodge then. Wait, he mentioned something about the... Um, what do you call it? The blueprint. Is there any update on the blueprint? Oh, the camp letter. Maybe the camp- maybe the camp is in worse shape than the fees can cover. Yeah, the lodge, right? The- uh, yeah, blueprints for, for structural repairs on the lodge's chimney column. I see, okay. Chimney column. What is a chimney column? Uh, 
we can go up, maybe? Oh, we can. Okay. I'm really nervous though. I really don't want any, any of them to die. Oh, hey! The High Priestess! What's up? Gotcha! Um, Eliza was killed in a fire that broke out at her traveling show six years ago. Her ghost roams the woods of Hackett's quarry ever since, and she's been determined to get revenge on the Hackett family for what they did to her. Her tarot cards, once lost in a blaze, have allowed her to guide you through the night, though her motives may not have been as transparent as first thought. Right. Yeah, this one. The, the White Wolf. Yeah, so basically, um, we got this card, right? The Hierophant? I, d I don't know how to pronounce that. So basically, we... I think at the later part of the game, maybe they will ask us whether or not to kill the White Wolf. I think the White Wolf is basically Silas. So, like, if we kill the White Wolf, then maybe the... The curse will be lifted once and for all. Then again, I feel like the only one that's been affected us all this while is Chris. So if we manage to kill Chris, um, we will, we will like um, what do you call it? We will cure everyone. But then again, everyone meaning only Max and uh, Nick, <laughs> because um. Because what what's it, what's her name? Uh, Laura is dead. So <laughs> okay. Okay. So we got that. Is there anything else for me up here? I don't think so. Let's go back down. Oh, that's not the way. I wish the camera won't zoom in on the character's face or body whenever we turn around. Because it feels really, really, um, what do you call it? Disorienting. Okay, where should we go next? There's nothing here. It's raining. Oh. How long has this guy been here? Ancestral portrait. Portrait. Large and overbearing, this regal oil painting of Septimus Hackett holds pride of place on the largest chimney column. Oh, okay, so that's the chimney column. I get it. Um, who is Septimus Hackett again? Though I feel like I've seen the name before. Oh right, it's here. Septimus Hackett was running the show when the Hackett's fortunes started to crumble. He was responsible for closing down the quarry all those years ago after falling on hard times. Right, he was the one who gave the um the notice of termination to the um to the staff of the quarry. I got it. That was uh hence why I was like, how come I I've seen his name before? A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. <laughs> I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> ah, keep looking or prepare for attack. Oh, oh, keep looking. Hopefully there's Maybe no timer though. Looking. There could be some stuff that I can find. What, that picture? Whose picture is that? What's in here? I'm nervous. I feel like um, my first playthrough of the quarry of this game is much more hectic um, and chaos than, uh, than my first playthrough of Until Dawn. <laughs> I feel like Until Dawn is much more Poor Ian. straightforward. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Ah, Ian! Hindsight. Sounds about right. Okay, hang on. We have a camp mascot? Well, no, we did. But you didn't hear? H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh-huh. Bummer. 
He did. <gasps> Saddest thing. But you didn't hear? There you go. You hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh -huh. Bummer. I didn't even know there was a camp mascot though. Okay. Oh, the PS4 version is just so broken. I hated it. Um, where was it again? Chalkboard doodle. Yeah. A memorial to the deceased camp mascot, Ian. From the looks of the drawing, Ian was a sheep, though nobody got to meet him this year. Right, because Chris um, ate him. Uh, the campers never knew how Chris killed and ate the camp mascot. In fact, they didn't know a l they didn't know a lot about camp leader Chris Hackett. Right. Ah. Always press X. There's an update on the um on the bloodied collar. Yeah, Ian was was a sheep. The camp mascot. Something slaughtered him down in the storm shelter. Right. So that was the bones that we uh we seen as Lara when we played the prologue. I see it. I got it. Rest in peace, Ian. We hardly knew you. Knew you. Uh knew you. Knew you. <laughs> uh we can go up though. What's that? A ring. Put a ring on it. Where have I seen this emblem before? An emblem? There's an emblem? Uh, discarded jewelry is thrown off in a scruffle. The, the encryption reveals that it belongs to Bobby Hackett, I see. Can I see the emblem? Oh, I'm only... I, ju I just need three more clues. Uh, well, four more clues for the Hackett History section. And then I'm done. I got all for the Camp History. Nice! Pretty good. And I need one more for the Freak Show Fire. What is it? A ring. With the crest on it. Oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. <laughs> Sorry. I love their friendship. Okay, what else can we find? What is that? Is that a oh oh? That's a mirror. Oh. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Careful with that. That's a camp relic. <laughs> Relax. It's dead anyway. Ah. Uh, R.I.P. Megaphone. RIP megaphone. Right. Um, I think I mentioned something about my playthrough of Until Dawn. I, th I feel like it's... Until Dawn, it was much more... Well, it's not linear. I'd be... Uh, but it's it's not as chaotic as uh, the quarry. And when I first played Until Dawn, I managed to get everyone alive except for one. Um, and that's mainly because... At that time, during the finale, I did not know what to do. Um, and... I did not know that I have to wait in order for me to make the decision that I did. Um, so I did a little bit too fast and with that choice uh, made me kill one character. So I think that was all good. Like, but I don't know how, why when I play the quarry, I feel like I, I've i been killing so many characters. Um, and all of that happened in one chapter, so... <laughs> Trail cam footage. Oh, trail cam footage. It's like they're looking for something. Oh, it could be the white wolf? Yeah. Uh, uh, in Chris's so... surveillance room. He's storing all the footage. I think you might be right. Right. So that's why they they did the the trail camp, the trail cam around around the um the campsite. Because they were looking for the white wolf, I see. So they believe that by killing the white wolf would um would lift the curse, right? But they can't find the wet the white wolf. They don't know where it is. So does that mean Oh wait, I don't get it. Um the hack died, right? 
during the fire. But did Silas die as well? I don't remember that part though. Um, did we get everything? I feel like I did. Uh, the one that we found was evidence. There you go. Trail camp footage. Archive trail camp footage from Hackett Woods dating back six years. Yeah. I missed two. Um. Oh god. Okay. Let's do this. I don't know though. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna explore downstairs one looking. more time. If there isn't anything else for me to do, then I'll I'll will just cut that session out and then just brought you guys back to here. Um, I checked every door. So apparently, I can't open it. I did went to the um the office door, but I can't do anything on it. So. I'm guessing um, all we need to do now is just to prepare ourselves for the attack. I'm really nervous though. <laughs> oh. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. Love meets for life, we're proud to proud say. To shout at Stratton, shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words. <laughs> Wait, they've been here for two months? That's a long time. They're coming. They're here. They're already here. Oh, they're coming through the chimney column. Showtime, motherfuckers. Let's do this. <sighs> Preparing myself mentally and physically. <laughs> what is going on out there? Oh! Should we go find the others? No! Oh, Emma is here. here. Okay. Morning. I thought she was still in the basement. In the, um, in the storm shelter. What the? Whoa! Whoa! Hey, dude! Whoa! That's so cool! <laughs> oh, it's coming. It's coming for us. Oh my god. Uh, uh, run, 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 run. I'm not gonna wait anymore, man. The last time I waited, I died, so... Ah! Uh, Dylan! Where are you going? Ah! Uh. What the fuck was that? Oh! It's Caitlyn! Yes, yes, yes! Well, we Help us! Well, we can't. The office door's locked from the outside. But there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but what? Wait, how... How did the office door lock from the outside? Oh. Silver shells. If we can time it right, we can give them to her. She passes. If she passes. She passes where? Uh ah uh, uh, beam? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh oh oh, oh maybe maybe this is not the right choice. This is a very slow This is a very slow way. Uh 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Caitlyn, come on, Caitlyn, oh my gosh, it's, it's right behind you, Caitlyn, no! Oh, oh, fuck me! Oh, 
Okay, all right. Um, hide. Let's hide. Let's hide. Let's hide. Dylan. No, no, Dylan. No, Dylan. No, no. He's coming for Dylan. He's coming for Dylan. <laughs> Dylan, go, go, go. Go, baby, go. Silver bullets, right? We need to get that. Oh, 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 no, just run, just run, just run, just run. Went, should have went for the door, man. Should have went for the door and get that fucking silver bullets. Move, 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 move. That's so big. That is so big. That fucking thing is huge. Use decoy, use decoy. I don't know what that is. There's a decoy. Oh, you play with me. That's the that's the the toy, the toy, the toy, the toy, the toy, the toy. Yes! Shouts as she stains something, something. I don't know. I can, I can feel my chair going really low right now. Okay, get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of there. It's morning now? Oh? It's been an interesting night, wouldn't you agree? The cycle continues, for some at least. Wait. I have to admit, you've disappointed me. But not as much as you could have done. That's it? We're bonded now, you and I. And though the full moon will come again, and the curse remains, this night is over. Don't worry. I'll never forget what you did here. But don't you dare ever step foot in Hackett's quarry again. If I see you poking your nose where it doesn't belong, I will never stop haunting you. Wherever you go, I'll okay. be right behind you. <laughs> the breath on your neck, always just out of sight. If you ever come back, I will haunt you until the day you 
die. But we're the good guys here, lady. You, you, you were trying to help us. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Why? Is that really it? So we didn't actually lift the curse? She sings The six o'clock alarm Would never ring But it rings And I rise At the sleep out I feel like there's a huge chunk of the game that I'm missing And it stings Cheer up sleepy jeans uh, Ryan was killed by Werewolf Chris, the camp leader. He once looked up to That's a little bit tragic, though. Oh, Laura. Laura and Travis reach the body end, the bloody end at each other's hands. Travis. Yeah, it's the same text. Bobby. Bobby was mauled to death by his werewolf brother. Jedediah. Jed was massacred by his werewolf son. Constance. Laura shot Constance face off in a struggle for the gun. This was epic though. I really liked his death. It was really sudden. Jacob was killed by werewolf Nick after Ryan refused to help him escape the Hackett's face. Kaylee Hackett. Chris Hackett's daughter. Kaylee was shot and killed by Laura who mistook her for werewolf Chris. Wait, so... Oh yeah, still infected. Spared by Ryan at the Hackett's house. Chris must now face the consequences of his rescue. Nick! Survived the full moon in werewolf form. Oh, okay, so he is alive. I thought he died. Then who did we kill at the scrapyard though? It couldn't be Max, right? Because Max is stuck in the... um. Oh, Abigail made it to the safety of Chris Hackett's civilian. Emma survived the night in the safety of Chris Hackett's civilian. Caitlyn survived by luring Caleb into the freezer and using the lost for the toilet. Who the fuck is Caleb? Caitlyn lived to see sunrise thanks to Caitlyn trapping Caleb in the freezer. Who is Caleb? Oh! Oh, Caleb Hackett! Where we have affection protected him from the cold of the freezer. Oh, so the one that attacked us wasn't Chris, it was Caleb! I see. Okay. Uh, okay, the cops came. We got a lot of evidence, so hopefully we managed to, uh, you know, the hopefully the cops managed to, oh, the white wolf. As the sun rises, the white wolf slinks back into the safety of the woods, waiting for the full moon to come again. Uh huh. So the white wolf is alive. Right. I, I bodies recovered in summer camp. Yeah, murder mystery. that's it. What do you that's make the end, that, I guess. Bad journalism, murder mystery. Isn't that just an unsolved murder? Yes, I, I suppose that is what most journalists would say. But perhaps the journalists of North Kill. Oh, this share is the my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be much competition. This is the in North Kill. What do you probably call it? not getting the best writers there. Okay, can we at least start the podcast before you completely the podcast resign yourself to cynicism? I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this, our this Yeah, Hackett this is the same thing. one as what the was this, one like that three um, months ago. Old news, Ryan dude. Was listening Anton, to. introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual super. Is this like a recap of what happened? Occurrences. Are they gonna talk about the um the, Okay what happened? So, I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Bodies recovered yes, in summer It's responsible to ensure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. 
Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. But do we have to That's hear this, though? A lot of podcast listeners might not know about. I think we have to. I can't skip so, it. It just so happens I I've got someone I on the inside. It. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show and... Oh, well, I can pause, but that's about it. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to leave this on. Inside of um, I'm going to be here and you know just going to keep on watching, but I'm going to hide my you know, camera bar. That says, Stop doing a so, podcast. Yeah. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation someone actually reached out to us they sent us a package did you you didn't open it anyone who i don't trust anyone who listens to this show oh i couldn't wait to open it surprise anonymous donation okay you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence you will consider all options right did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information, and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really... Really? There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have, like, a key I could, like, slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you, what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? Yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras, photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found? I would think that maybe they went there and they dropped their camera. Okay, Anton, let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root, um, being jostled, uh... In uneven uh, row of cobblestones. What about being murdered? If you dropped your phone, you wouldn't go missing. Where are they now? I don't know. People get lost in the woods all the time. There's like hundreds of people a year. They could be anywhere. That's not all. No? Mm -mm. I'm about to lay a little something else on you. My sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Really? Then, okay, well then, shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they would be if anyone knew where they were. Is it all just a big cover-up operation? Yeah, that's where it falls apart a bit, in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has 
great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest, a lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light reading. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long are we going to drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more. And right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy. Or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended for now. Next, we have this empty vial thing. Okay, the way you say empty vial makes me think that there was something creepy in there before. Well, it's not half full, you little optimist, okay? We've got a photo from whoever my supernatural fairy godmother may be, but what are your initial thoughts? Your godmother sends you vials full of this, I mean, it looks like there could have been blood in here. My fairy godmother, not my actual godmother. She's estranged. My God, what did she do? It's actually what I did. But the important thing is, look at this vial and tell me it does not scream nefarious ritual. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it could have had blood in it. Yeah, something about this doesn't look like anything normal. Yeah, well, it's a vial full of fucking blood. Okay, Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. They are a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, super natch shit. See, you always say things like this and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay, this is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool, a camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it uh, a skinny bear? Okay, this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes the truth 
can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Oh. Yeah, polar bears, it's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them though, they're nasty. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay, so what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo by one of the counselors. Emma Mountebank, downloaded from her phone. Oh my god, is this real? Well, <laughs> that is what we're here to discuss. Okay, this looks shocked. I mean, doesn't it? Okay, but w if you downloaded photos from my phone, yes, they would all be shopped as well. There would be a filter on it to make my eyes look big and cheeks look pink. But I don't even think that has even any of those filters. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, weird, bizarre, yet bona fide. What the hell happened? More than we are being told. Yeah? There's something else, too. Okay. <sighs> Look at what happens when I put it through a negative filter. Whoa! Okay, what is that? It's her! The Hag of Hackett's Quarry! See? Full circle! God, uh, no, 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 no. That could be anything. Like what? Please, try to explain I, I don't know. That. What's that thing? There's this thing that makes your mind. You see faces and stuff. There's people, there's, Jesus shows up on toast every once in a while. This could be whatever. Well, I don't need to hear too much more about your breakfast, but I can't believe that you're still questioning this. You're doubting your own cynicism now, though, I can tell. I can smell the doubt that you usually apply to other things on yourself. Picks or didn't happen, right? Well, picks, so did happen. No, picks, you can fabricate. Experiences, you can't. I need to... I, I would need to see the Hag of Hackett's Quarry myself. Well, if you want to go to North Kill with me... No! I actually have a really I don't. good okay. relationship. Okay, I believe you. Okay, but you know what? I have something that couldn't be fabricated. Claw marks in a wall. I, I could make this right now. Really? Just fi find me a wall, I'll take a fork, and just go to town. Wow. What an artisan. Thanks. Well... To me, this isn't actually overtly supernatural because it could have just been, you know, an animal or someone's angry parrot. But it'd be unfair not to discuss. Why? Because the audience has come to expect a certain length of the podcast, so we actually have to sometimes do a little bit of filler. Yeah, that's true. We don't have much to talk about. Well, whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. There's a chance this is all just a prank, you know? It was just a prank, Anton! Who even are you? It's probably just some teenager who's making fun of you. It's probably that dude who came on and gave us a one-star review. I would love to tell you that that's implausible, but a teenager making fun of me is probably the most familiar experience of my life. Moving on! How about this? Tell me this isn't freaky as shit. Oh! Is that skin? Skin. Fur. Whatever you want to call it, really. Okay, it looks human. Is that a tattoo? I don't think so. Or maybe a really bad one. Wait. Is it? Apparently, this belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Okay, do we have the actual thing? Did they capture it? Can I... Can I see it in the uh, in its weird flesh, so to speak? You want to touch the flesh. I want to touch the flesh. Well, fortunately, the person who sent this to me was smart enough to know that it would be dangerous to steal the actual evidence, not to mention they might suspect that you, Anton, would hide it away so as to sabotage this legitimate investigation. Right, I am known for destroying evidence. 
Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. You're desperate not to believe. If there's reasonable doubt, you have to assume it's not real, Occam's Razor. But look at everything we've seen. Put it all together, objectively. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh, my God. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh, my God. I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you. You're... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. So what now? Well, we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um, who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. What I found Turns out That credit scene took way too long. I lost track of what I was listening to halfway. Um, but basically they just um, they just recap off the evidence that they found, uh, the evidence that we found. 
while playing the game. Um, I think maybe one of the um, one of the counselors sent it to uh, to the podcast members, and I think that person was Ryan because I think Ryan was the no, not Ryan, Dylan because Dylan was the only one who uh, who knows uh, about the podcast, right? The Bonafide something something podcast um, because Ryan told him about it. So I think that was Dylan. Uh, Dylan sent those evidence to them. Uh, but yeah, they basically just recap what uh, what we found in the evidence, and um, yeah, I think that's just about it. <laughs> but it was it was so long, and I can't even skip it. Like what the hell? Yeah, that was uh, that was it. That was the quarry for my first playthrough. It was great. Um, I I really did enjoy playing it. I really do like the characters in this game more than um, than in Until Dawn because I feel like in Until Dawn I hated probably majority of the characters. <laughs> like for this one, the only one that I really really hate though was Jacob. Um, and then as the game goes through maybe i was a little bit annoyed with ryan because of his um i don't know there's just something about him that kind of rubs me off the wrong way and yeah i really do like the other characters though i really do like nick um sad to see him go but he survived in the end thankfully um i really like abigail as well i think she's really sweet but i feel like the um the last portion of the game i think like at the end there, it feels like they kind of underuse Emma and Abigail. And they were really used a lot of Caitlyn on that last scene, on that last part. And I think that is where Caitlyn kind of like shines and kind of showed us how badass she is. She kind of reminded me of um, of uh, Hayden Panettiere's character in Until Dawn. But yeah, I think Caitlyn is basically like Hayden's character in Until Dawn. We don't get to see more of her up until the end part of the game. But the weird thing is that I feel she's not even uh, one of the main characters, like the main, um, main, main. Like we got the, uh, like a whole bunch of counselors with us, right? But then I feel like the original main character is Laura um, and maybe Ryan uh, and the cop uh, Travis so I think those three characters are the main ones like the really main main ones if you get me I actually googled on um, on uh, different endings for the um, for the game and basically we have to keep Ryan and Laura alive because they play a huge part in the last bit of the game so with them being dead we basically miss a whole chunk of the ending and I was a little bit disappointed about that though not gonna lie because like for until dawn and no matter how many characters you killed leading up until the end um, you still can actually see the actual ending, like the the grand finale. But for the quarry, because you have the option to kill the two main characters before the final chapter, is a little bit like a weird thing to do. Because like what I did here, I accidentally killed them both, and we miss a huge chunk of the um of the actual ending. I wish that that never happened like at least give us some sort of uh like another action so that at least laura or ryan could survive you know well then again it's a good ending yeah because four characters lived and um yeah this is like a neutral ending for me but i really didn't like that though i really didn't like that the fact that we we have to uh by killing by accidentally killing Ryan and Laura, we miss a, a lot. Uh, we miss the actual ending, a lot more of the ending than what we got. But other than that, I think it was a uh, it was a great game. But who knows? Maybe the second time I play for the channel, uh, where I will try to save everyone and also try to kill everyone and get all the collectibles. Maybe at that time I would actually feel different about this game. I don't know. We shall see. And also, I think the PS4 version is horrible <laughs> it's playable but it's just there's so many things going on with this game drop off frame rates stuttering bugs here and there out of sync like what the hell is going on with this version of the game though i think i might uh buy the pc version of the game if i want to uh 
do another playthrough of this. Then again, I don't think that I'm gonna be playing this the second time back to back. Like, I'm still gonna try and play something else after this. And then maybe we can revisit uh, the quarry all over again. I'm really curious to see, like, how would all these characters die, though. That would be really, you know, that would be really interesting to see. Anyways, with that being said, thank you so much for watching my playthrough of um, the quarry. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Tell me what you think about this game. Um, do you like it more than Until Dawn or do you like it less than Until Dawn? I really would love to hear your comments on this. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you guys. Bye!